Hello, my beautiful little kittens. Today we are going to continue on with listening to these tapes. Did I listen to seven? My wife died while giving birth to our only child. I still don't know how I possibly found the strength to keep. Yeah, the Maybe the last two are of. Ryoba and I don't think the father's name has been, you know, put out there yet, but I believe it, at the end of this development of this game, there it will be. I've never told anyone about any of this. Never saw a shrink, and never had any friends to confide in. Mm -hmm. I thought that it would be therapeutic to record my feelings, even if I'm only talking to an obsolete machine. But this hasn't calmed me down at all. The only thing to come out of this experience is that all of the anger and hate I've kept buried for the past two decades has risen back to the surface. I don't think I can go back to the way things were before. I don't think I can go back to wasting my time with crappy part-time jobs, drinking, and sitting on a couch feeling miserable. I don't want this to be my life. But I can't let myself die just yet, either. Not until I see justice served. That's that girl from 1989. She's grown woman by now, but she... Oh, we have listened to this. Shit. Have you listened to none yet? I found her. It wasn't hard. She never even moved out of her hometown. I've been following her around town for the past week. It's not that hard to follow. Professionally, did you know that she has a daughter? Or someone without being spotted, if you know the right tricks. The only difficult part is looking at her without being consumed with disgust. Thinking about what she got away with. Thinking about what she's responsible for. It almost makes me go blind with rage. This whole week, I felt like something was wrong. Yesterday, I realized what it was. I'm surprised it took me so long to figure it out. She suddenly changed directions while walking, or linger in one place for seemingly no reason. I recognize that behavior. It's my own behavior. I know what she's doing. She's stalking someone. It didn't take me long to figure out who her prey was. A young woman just out of high school. I don't know what she's done wrong, but she's clearly marked for death. She'll be dead within a week if I don't do something. I want to warn her that a killer is stalking her, but... I can't repeat the mistakes of the past. In order to convict this monster and send her to prison, I need firm evidence that she's a murderer. If I save this young woman's life, I won't have any evidence. I have to let her die. And I have to be there when it happens. Filming her murder. It's the only way to get the evidence I need. The only way to make sure that justice is served. But, is this really justice? Letting a woman die? If I don't get this monster arrested, then there will only be more victims in the future. So, letting her commit murder one last time is the right thing to do, isn't it? No. You're just dumb. The last tape. Fool, 
on a goddamned fool. I got sloppy. She caught me. I followed her into an alley, lost her in the shadows. Then I heard her voice from behind me. Long time no see, Mr. Journalist. I turned around and saw her just inches away from me. She was smiling. I recognized that smile. It was the exact same smile she wore when she threatened my life in 1989. I didn't know what to do. I just turned and ran. I've broken a truce that lasted almost three decades. She knows I was after her. There's no way she'll let me live. I'm doomed. I can't go to the police. I'll sound like a babbling lunatic without evidence, and right now I don't have any. Even if they do listen to me, an investigator, they won't find anything. My only option is to leave town. No. Oh, no, it's worse than that. I have to leave Japan altogether. <laughs> I searched for you, but I couldn't find you. I can't wait for you to come home. I have to leave immediately. I'm going to gather all of the recordings I've made so far and put them where I know you'll find them. That way, at least you'll know why your father disappeared so suddenly. I only hope that she doesn't try to get revenge on me by harming you. <laughs> I don't know when I'll be back. I don't know if I'll be back. I don't know if she's willing to cross oceans to hunt her prey. If she is, I'll try to lure her into a trap, try to expose her true nature in front of the police. It's my only hope. I know you can take care of yourself. If I had more time, there's so many things I'd say to you, but I can't. Not now. <laughs> Stay safe. <laughs> I love you. That was sad. Well, I'm going to have to end it here, guys. Bye.